Hi, Aries. Okay, I'm, I'm getting a particular energy. Oh, welcome. This is your tarot reading for, I think, midweek bonus. Is that right? All right, well, we'll just see what happens. Um, so, Aries, you have this peculiar energy. That's why I'm getting ahead of myself. I feel like you're kind of... Okay, so I was pulling your energy right now, and I got, like, ugh, like, that kind of vibe. So I feel like you have some sort of disgust with a situation and with a person. It's like, no way, no how. This is disgusting. You disgust me. The situation disgusts I'm just disgusted. So you're disgusted by something? It's like you have a bad taste in your mouth. Complete and total disgust, okay? And I feel like there is someone here who's wanting to be nice with you. They're wanting to connect with you. Someone misses you, okay? I feel like I'm also getting, I gotta go. I gotta go right now. I gotta go. Okay. See, love conquers all. All right, so bottom of the deck. Wow, oh my gosh. Bottom of the deck, we got jealousy, envy, punishment, and changing course. That's what I'm saying, okay? Someone feels like you're leaving them out of the loop. You're leaving them alone. You're leaving them to go in a different direction. Maybe they think you're seeing someone else or you have someone else on the side. I don't know, man. But I feel like there's a, there's a shift happening between you and someone and it's really uncomfortable for them. I feel like I'm kind of picking up their energy right now for whatever reason. You have love conquers all. Enduring loyalty, eternal love, and lasting commitment. Wow. That's what I'm saying. They miss you. They still love you. They still have feelings for you. Even if you said something rude or you did something rude or they feel kind of like you don't care about them. I'm sensing five of swords, three of swords right now. Okay. Actually, let's pull you some. Let's pull you some of this. Okay. There he is. I'm hearing glutton for punishment. Clouds, this is temporary problems. Oh, really? Oh my gosh, this, okay, this V card, the victory in some endeavor, reminds me of your sign, okay? That's like your, your symbol. I was gonna say your sigil. <laughs> so you, okay, hold on. Excitement, okay, too many, too many cards. Yeah, okay. So let's see. Bottom of the deck is older woman dealing to a relationship with an older woman. There could be, you know, an age difference here. Someone's older. All right. You got clouds. It says temporary problems. So this situation is temporary right now. I'm also getting, you're basically saying that's not my problem. So this is someone else's problem, guys. But it's temporary. Like it was your temporary problem, but it's their problem now. Like they need to deal with it. Okay. They need to fix it. They need to get themselves out of it. Because you're having victory here. This is you, Aries. You're having victory. All right. So Cracked Cup says dissatisfaction with life. I feel like you're dissatisfied with this situation. Um, I'm getting like a Four of Cups energy for you. Like I feel like you're just disgusted and you don't see the situation moving forward right now. Okay, we have excitement. Maybe there's something else going on with this excitement energy. Something else could be more exciting. Oh gosh, what's going on? Let's see what's going on for Aries. Yeah, victory, look at that. You got the victory card. So you're winning at something. You're winning in this situation. You feel like this is what's best for you right now. I saw the Seven of Swords, so you could be avoiding someone. Aries, this week, please, or this time period. Um, okay, that was the Queen of Swords. I'm taking notes. All right, Aries. The Seven of Cups. That's kind of what the clouds is reminding me of. Ace of Swords. Yeah, no. Mm -mm. The King of Swords, absolutely not. So someone's coming in with a rush or like a rush of energy. They're wanting to communicate something with you. You're basically like, stop right there. Don't come near me. Don't talk to me. This is not changing. 
it's as it stands. It's staying the way that it is right now. There's a lot of air energy coming out here. So I feel like someone is trying to ask for some situation to change or they're pushing a situation to change. This could be someone who's like rushing you or rushing in towards you here. And you're kind of like, what are you talking about? Okay, like you need to calm down, slow your roll, stay back or something like this. I also feel like with the seven of cups energy, this person's not knowing why you're doing this. It's almost like they're questioning why is Aries just cutting me off? Why is Aries being so cold? Why is Aries being so blunt? And you're like, because I have to. That's kind of how you are showing up right now. It's like, man, I thought everything was so happy. This person feels like they thought everything was happy and they're confused why you are saying no to them or you're drawing the line. This is an interesting reading. <laughs> okay, let's see. Yeah, someone disgust, disgusted you or like you lost interest because of a certain... I don't know if it's like a, a trait or something that someone does, like a habit or a trait of a person. It's like you saw someone doing something or you realize something about someone and, and now you don't. It's like you need to be away from them right now for whatever reason. All right, let's see, Aries. Yeah, but they're coming after you, all right? Okay, page of wands, there's six of wands. Yeah, no, okay, devil. You guys, be careful. Someone, Someone's coming in with the heat. All right, the passion. This is like a double-edged sword. Okay. Man. Someone's mad. They're jealous. They feel like you're leaving them out. They don't know why you just turned cold and you're acting so nonchalant or like this is the way it has to be. You're being real icy according to this person. It could be their perspective, but this is making them go up in arms because they miss you. So they're ready to fight and they're ready to fight for you and with you. This person's coming in to start some sort of argument, all right? I feel like they're, this could be someone who's trying to, yeah, look, exactly. Ace of Cups, page of, page of Wands. This could be someone who's trying to come in and they come in real angry, but what they really wanna do is like be intimate with you, like physical intimacy. Okay, they feel like that's gonna help the situation, it's gonna heal the situation with you. Okay, this could be someone who like likes arguing or likes fighting. Um, I don't, okay, this could be an air sign. Okay, this person's pissed, guys. And I feel like you're just drawing the line. You're like, don't come at me with that. All right, let me see. I'm curious, I'm just gonna draw a couple more cards here and then we'll close out. What is this here? Wow. So if you do argue with this person, don't stoop, okay? Just do exactly as you're doing. Because this is someone I feel like they're going to try to trigger you or there's certain behaviors that will be triggering you. And you got too much Mars energy here. So there, there's someone here who, yeah, you're ignoring this. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're ignoring it. Yeah, someone, someone I feel like is trying to trigger you. They're saying all kinds of stuff. They're all riled up. They're mad, okay? And I feel like you just basically close the window, close the door. You, you end the conversation. You cut things off. You're like, nope, I'm good. And then this is you winning. Yeah, don't engage, guys. I feel like someone's jealous or they feel like, you, like I said, like you're seeing someone else or there's someone else here that they're mad about. You know, there's something like that going on. And I mean, it doesn't have to be romantic per se. A lot of times it is. Okay, so this Capricorn is heartbroken. Or there could be someone who's, I don't know, that Capricorn feels at a distance, if you were to ask me. I feel like there's an air sign that's closer or a fire sign. All right. So for Aries, yeah, don't say anything, Aries. Don't engage here. It's just a mess. It's going to drag you down a path you don't want to. I mean, you're not interested, okay? I know you're not. I can tell. Okay, wow. So, yep, protection. Exactly. Protect yourself from this person. Don't get involved with this person. This could be someone who's trying to... Um, rile you up so that they can call the authorities or like so authorities could be called or maybe they need the authorities called on them. There's something like that going on. It's like real intense like, okay? 
because this person's being really harsh. They're coming at you super mean, super directly, super combative. This isn't someone who's trying to be nice. Like I said, I feel like underneath there's some hurt feelings, a broken heart or an intention to connect with you or to be intimate with you. But, it, but they don't know how to show that. So this is someone who's just being belligerent. Yeah, don't don't engage. When you, when you need to protect yourself, that's world card here. Just ignore them. That's your victory, okay? Because you're cutting someone off and they're going to throw a fit. Because you tell them no, they're throwing a hissy fit, a big one. This is someone who could be like actually physically wanting to fight. Or like break things or get rowdy. That's what this is saying, okay? So the Empress of protection is here it says i'm safe and divinely protected i'm held in love at all times i feel like that's what you kind of need to do with this situation until this person at least until they cool off or if you're just done you're done this is what it is okay i mean i don't feel like you have any hard feelings about this anyway okay the mother of believers i'm spiritually and financially abundant i provide heaven and earth for myself okay it is what it is aries feel free to check your other placements on this playlist here are your friends family members neighbors co-workers peeping tom peeps down the street check their placements too so we know what they're up to kisses love you bye